The fall run Chinook salmon is expected to be much lower this year than previous years. The North States News, Sophia Brunsma went to the Coleman Fish Hatchery in Anderson to learn what the current numbers are for the struggling fish population. Salmon numbers recorded out of the Coleman fish hatchery are much lower than usual, with less than 5 million eggs at the moment. Just last year, they were much closer to their goal of three times that number. We're going to fall well short of that. The issue is the types of salmon that came in this year. The hatchery says the fish are too young and predominantly male, which is hindering the spawning process. We do have more numbers than last year, however, it's a younger age class. This year, about 60% are two-year-old fish, and only about 40% are four- and five-year-old fish. Two-year-old male salmon, where we need three- and four-year-olds, the bigger adults. Last year, the hatchery had 2,500 female Chinook salmon, but this fall, there's only about 1,000 female Chinook salmon that returned, very short of their goal of 3,500 female salmon. There are many reasons why fish populations are struggling right now. Brett Gallion says the recent drought had significant detrimental effects on the population. 21 and 22 were drought years, so we had low warm water, and I think the out migration wasn't very successful. The fall run Chinook salmon currently at the Coleman Fish Hatchery are set to be released later this month. They will go down the Sacramento River and into the Pacific Ocean. Reporting in Anderson, Sophia Brinsma, The North States News.